But did you enjoy it back then? Or did it become so immense and, and quick that you well didn't have time to stand still and enjoy it? Or um, I think at that age in life, you know, as much as you can enjoy things, you know, I think I enjoyed it, yeah. Okay, you did enjoy it, okay. I think as you get older, it becomes more mature. Yeah, maybe you enjoy things more as you get older, I think, you know, um, in a certain way, you know. But yeah, there was a lot of excitement and it was fantastic, yeah. No, we enjoyed it, I think, yeah. You know, when the old rocket ship started blasting off, it was great. Suddenly being on top of the pops and, you know, in the hit, hit parade, you know. But did you know why? I mean, that was unbelievable, you know what I mean? You were all a bunch of nobodies growing up in a nowhere <laughs> landscape in North London, and all of a sudden we're on the telly, you know? I yeah. mean, that was fantastic. But did you know why uh, you had to you had the, the, the momentum back then? Did you know why it took off? We didn't think about it, no. We didn't intellectualise it. We were just playing sort of music that you could play at parties to start out with. A lot of sort of bands were kind of doing that around that time. Not lots, but a few. I mean, there was a few bands that we were impressed by. And then it went from that to this scar two-tone explosion. We were sort of just ready in the right place. And, and again, as I said earlier, it just was like, okay, yeah. just swept along with it, you know? I mean, I think it was a combination. We were, we, I mean, we weren't, you know, we were not bad at the same time. I think, you know, there's quite a lot of, uh, you know, we've got a lot of songwriters in the band and a lot of, uh, you know, creative musicians, as it were, you know. So there's quite a lot of sort of uh, different sort of characters and stuff. So I think we weren't bad, but at the same time, you know, there was, uh, there was a coming together, like Stokes was saying, of circumstances, and suddenly this, you know, it suddenly became, you know, the, the in thing, this scar thing, you know, and we quickly changed our outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Started uh, copying the specials. Um, no, uh, and, then, and then suddenly, yeah, that sort of came from behind, yeah. But obviously, if we'd been a NAF band, I mean, there were a lot of bands who suddenly popped out of the woodwork yeah. at that time, and then they'd pop back in again pretty quick, you know. And we managed to sustain a bit of a career in, in the UK, at least, you know. I don't know about over here in the wonderful no, you, you too, land you called Holland. Yeah. I mean, we had Beggy Trousers was a hit here. I don't know if you guys uh, can remember any other hits that we had over here. I know Beggy Trousers was a hit, yeah, I no? think one, one Step Beyond, too. One Step Beyond. Yeah, I mean, it was all the very was early below, stuff. Yeah, and then it... I remember, actually, we got some nasty publicity over here um, about sort of fascist stuff. And I spoke to somebody once yeah, because and said... Of the because of the skinhead. Skinhead, I don't know, it was a big yeah. thing. There was a lot of stuff going on in England at the time about... Uh, fascists and skinheads and aggression and all that. Uh, but somebody once told me that, uh, that they had, that they read some article that we were all fascists. And so I think maybe you know, it's typical Holland, you know, and then as soon as they read that, they don't, you know, they, they believe what... Anyway, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> what am I saying? What am I carrying <laughs> <it's really Yeah. laughs> now, Somebody told me that they got put off by that, and I wonder whether more people didn't. I mean, maybe not, I don't know. No, I yeah, don't but sometimes so. you get an article like that, and a lot of people can be influenced. But we were successful at the beginning of that album, and then, I don't know, in England we went on and we carried on having quite a lot of successful albums. Whereas, and, and I'm not sure about yeah, developing our style, you know, and getting more influences, you know, and, and broadening the sound that we were making. Yeah, was it hard to come up with still uh, an, another album? Because you had, I think, within five or six years, you had 20 hits or something. Yeah. Was it hard to keep up with the songwriting and with the... Uh... It did a bit at the end, I think, yeah. When, we, when it had been going on, when, when you'd been going on for quite a while, you've had quite a few hits. I remember, I know there was a period when we kept trying to do something different, you know? And, uh, you know, it had to have a different beat, it had to have something different about it, and it gets a bit, you know, it gets a bit trying after yeah. a while. You know, always trying to be different sort of thing. So it did, yeah, it got, got a bit difficult sometimes, yeah, a bit strained, I think. And why, why did you leave in 1984? Well, but for that reason, by coincidence, okay. yeah, that it was all getting a bit of a strain, yeah. That, uh, that, you know, trying, always always trying to write songs, always trying to, you know, everything was sort of a bit obsessive to, the, to that work that we were doing. And, uh, you know, there's more to life than just, just your job, you know. And it's very, it can be very consuming when you're in a band. If you're successful, you know, then it's like never ending and there's always something else you can do. And if you don't do it, there's always this fear of falling into the chasm of obscurity, you know. <laughs> So, you know, there's, there's a pressure to do it. And, then, and after a while, you begin to, uh, you know, oh, I don't like this, you know. It's like being in a small space, you know. But did you stay in touch? 
Uh, yeah, we we stayed in touch. Yeah, you know, occasionally. <laughs> Once in a while. Once in a while we see each other. Yeah, so we sort of stayed a bit in touch. Yeah.